Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, today is Monday, September 27th, and we are a week away from the release of Windows 11, and of course one of the things that a lot of you have been asking me is, is there anything I have to do to prepare to this, and should I uh, upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, do a clean install? And will all of that be ready on Monday, on Tuesday, sorry, October 5th, next week? So the first thing is, of course, Windows 11 can be an upgrade from Windows 10 uh, when it is released and when it will be um, officially available. Um, some of you, and that's important to know, not everybody at the same time, but some of you when, when you go to Windows Update will see a optional update that's going to be called Windows 11 and that is once again an optional update it will not download and install unless you click on it so if you are thinking of moving ahead that's where it's going to be but not everybody's going to see it first it's going to be just a handful of people a handful of PCs that will show it the ones that basically they know is really really uh, going to be okay with Windows 11 now if you see it, you can, of course, install it and upgrade from Windows 10. It's a feature update a little bit. Uh, the time that it takes to install is a little bit like one of the big feature updates of Windows 10 when there were such a thing in the past. So expect that it could take anywhere from maybe half an hour to you know, a couple of hours, depending on the PC that you have, for this to install. And once you are... Uh, upgraded you'll be with the new layout of course with the start in the center of the screen and all of that now uh, the best if you can and I always say that it's the best thing to do it's always what I've pretty much been doing on all most machines that I had over the years every time there's a new operating system I always think it's the time to clean install remove everything from your computer install a fresh copy this minimizes the risks of problems a lot of problems in Windows 11 that people have been complaining about are often problems that are caused with the migration from Windows 10 to Windows 11 even though the majority of people have an experience that is fine like I did here um, some people because of some software or some driver or something that was in Windows 10 is actually creating problems in Windows 11. And I suspect the majority of people having Windows 11 problems are the ones that from Windows 10 to Windows 11 it created some kind of problem. So a clean install, of course, would be the best thing to do. Uh, that's for sure. Do you have to back up your files? This is not even a question. When I hear somebody say, well, should I back up my files before upgrading? You should back up your files all the time. This is not a question of because you're moving on to a new system, a new operating system, or whatever. A backup is something you have to do because you will get bitten and someday you'll lose everything if you never back up. And this is something that is a minimum of any PC users. Some of you might think, well, I don't have anything important. Really? Start thinking about it. A lot of people don't realize what important is. And when you start losing pictures, for example, that you've taken with your smartphone and, you know, you've erased them from the, the smartphone and they're only on your computer or digital camera and so on. These are all things that you can't replace. And people don't think about that very often. So back up your files all the time. It's not a question of just because you're moving on to something else. It's really a question that you need to back up. For the rest, everything should work fine. If you choose the upgrade path, for the majority of people, it works okay. Your software will be there. Everything will be there. Your folders will be there. Uh, with the new file explorer, you'll see everything is going to be where it was. So in general, that upgrade should work well. Your software should work, be compatible, and everything should be okay. And if, of course, you do a clean install, which is the best, you're probably going to enjoy it because you'll see that your computer, especially if you've been on Windows 10 for many years without any clean install, you might actually notice that the computer is suddenly much faster with a clean install of Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.